Hello, welcome to today's lesson. So this lesson, I think um, it, it's going to be, hopefully it might address some of your concerns. I know many of you out there, maybe not concerns, but you talk about speaking and wanting to get more practice speaking. I think that is the one language skill that I think many learners would like to engage in, have more practice, and it can be a little bit, a uh, little bit of a challenge. So that's why in today's lesson, I, I just want to give you some suggestions, some ideas that will get you thinking about different ways that that you can practice speaking. And really, this is more catered toward people who um, you you may not live in an English speaking country. Perhaps um, it, it, you, you're very busy with your schedule and you want to figure out different ways that you can practice uh, speaking because you would like to improve your skills. I think it's very important that if you're talking about developing your language fluency, you, you work on all of the four primary skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And I think that speaking part can be a little elusive sometimes and it can be difficult, difficult to grab onto. So I just want to give some quick little hellos and shout outs to everybody who's here. Uh, Lolly, as always, great to see you. Um, hello, Judith, Takaya, Simple Guy, uh, Jane, Marcelo. Uh, glad, you, glad you all can join me. Um, Shars, um, Miram, uh, Miguel, Angela, trying to give as, as many as I can. So uh, again, as we go through this, uh, these are just some thoughts, suggestions, and ideas. Um, that maybe could you know kind of get the get the creative juices flowing when you're starting to think about well how can I get a little more speaking practice so let me begin with my my first suggestion and these are not in order of importance or anything like that um, but the first one would be to try to find a speaking group and what I mean by like a speaking group Typically, I think these examples that I'm giving you, this would be more like face-to-face -face, um, speaking with someone. And there are different, um, those are some different apps or sites that you can go to and try to do this. For example, uh, Meetup is a very uh, popular one and common one. Eventbrite, City Socializer, Open Sports. Now, because of the pandemic, I don't know if how much this has maybe affected some of these groups and perhaps people are meeting online instead of in person. But again, there are numerous apps or sites like the ones I've listed here where you can connect with people and people you might be talking about a certain topic. Let me give you um, a more uh, a clearer example because Meetup uh, was something that was becoming more popular in the US had a lot of learners um, who I would teach in the US and they would practice with me at, at school in the classroom, that setting, but they would say, look, I'll, you know, I want to, I'm having difficulty making friends, I would like to practice more speaking outside of the classroom and really have conversations with people, not like things that you know you would talk to somebody at a coffee, like you're ordering a coffee or going to the grocery store, something like that but really to have a conversation. And I would always suggest like meet up because where around where we lived in California, there were always different groups getting together. You could find a meet up that was talking about um, maybe like a, a book, like a book club or a meet up that was referring to like hiking or exercise and people would get together and sometimes they might do the activity and do something, or they just get together and share ideas and have discussions because they share the same interest. So when I say find a speaking group, it's not like a speaking group like, oh, you want to learn English, I want to learn English. This would be more like finding a speaking group somebody, a group that's talking about something you're interested in. So maybe um, it could be about art and you find a group using one of these sites that having uh, a weekly discussion about art um, and you can then join that discussion and be a part of that conversation. That's what I mean. So it's not really finding a speaking group that's related to learning English, but something else that you are interested in, that you are passionate about, and you can talk about that in English. Um, so that's really the, the main idea there. So the first thing I would suggest, yes, Find, uh, find a speaking group 
and there uh, I think you can check out some of those sites you might be able to do it, join do this um, Miriam somebody said this I joined some groups on telegram but people just said greetings okay yeah I haven't checked out telegram I don't know much about it um, but yeah I think there are different ways out there get creative and find some sites where you can engage with some of these groups um, the next one would be like I said this is more when I say this more in person face to face the other thing I would say is engage in an online community again consider your interest so if you love to read um, there might you could maybe find an online book club where people are reading and then they get together using zoom or, or Skype and you have a conversation about the book so just like there are ways to meet people in groups uh, and talk to them face to face about some topic you can also do this online I think it's possible again you just have to get a little creative and finding the right community that you can talk to people um, and perhaps they're getting together and and speaking English so I said like again consider your interests don't focus I know you're interested in improving your language skills and practicing speaking think beyond that what is something else you want to do what's something else you want to learn and and start your search there and see what you can come up with see what you can find um, all right so let's see just kind of checking out some of the <laughs> what you guys are mentioning uh, in the chat it's an awesome idea uh, thank you simple guy um, all right so the next suggestion that I have for you which again like leads me into uh, something else that I want to talk about is you could take an online class uh, but this is something that is going that, that would be paid for um, perhaps online it depends on where you live sometimes um, in certain countries it can be a little more expensive than others um, but you could take an online class it's a way to connect with people English teachers from around the world whatever country and I, I would say that yes this is kind of leading me into telling you that this is the last call if you would like to join my speaking course um, called speak up you can talk to me uh, we talk about different topics each week which are really kind of trying to help you build your confidence speaking about these different topics as well as doing speaking activities so it's about helping you speak confidently speak clearly and speak naturally because there are a lot of pronunciation video lessons in there so this is your last call you can use the code speak 10 to get a 10 percent discount there's my little uh wait here it is there's my little promo right there if you want to take classes with me and practice improving your speaking fluency you can take an online class directly directly with me because some of you have asked are like how can I how can I speak with you um, and Joseph moves yes is there money included joining it yes uh, yes there is um, so check that out there's a link down in the description if you're interested um, I'm also going to throw the link in right here if you would like to uh, check out my speaking course um, you can click on this link right there um, if you would like to join so let me replace that I'll just pin it up top in case uh, you guys are wondering but this is the last call the classes are getting ready to start next week but that is something um, again that's another way to practice uh, your speaking skills get regular practice and really build um, confidence so let's look um, Oh yes that's right DC boy I have joined that's right you are you are enrolled and I look forward I look forward to speaking to you very very soon um, so yeah I really I love this I love the course um, I have so much fun with it it's so amazing I think getting ready getting get, being able to meet um, all of you that have kind of been following the video lessons and and really get to know you I know uh, Takaya was in here I saw your name before also uh, has been a part of the course um, simple guy no it is it is a payment it is a payment for for doing these classes so the um, the the cost is 149 check out the link there's a lot more information 
if it's something you guys um, would be interested in. But I, I do want to kind of, I'll, I'll come back to this a little later on, make one more plug. I wanted to continue in talking about some ideas, suggestions to get more speaking practice. So the next one um, is this one right here, which is a little outside the box. And that is to become a tour guide in your city or town. And what I mean by that, um, some of you live in perhaps a, a big city. And if you're in a big city, there are probably international tourists there visiting some of the different places, some of the different sites. And what you could do is kind of become a, a tour guide. You could even put up something at like a, a local coffee shop or a hostel or a hotel, something where people might be staying, where you might find international tourists. They can contact you. You could say, hey, I show, I'll show you around. If it's not too much of an inconvenience for you, if you happen to live close by some place that there are, are many tourists. And this is something that I've seen when I lived in, I lived in South Korea. I've also traveled to China. Those are two places where um, in, in other countries in East Asia as well, I would be traveling somewhere and somebody uh, would come up to me and say, hey, you know, I can show you around a little bit, uh, tell you a little bit about this place. I'm just looking to practice uh, my English, have a little bit of a conversation. And yeah, I would, uh, I would talk to them for a little bit. Typically, we would talk about other things that are unrelated to uh, the, the landmark or the site because I would be curious about, well, you know, what can you tell me about the city or your country or what do you do um, and, and have a conversation that way. So that is one thing that you could do um, if you're in a, a city or town where international travelers come because typically the, the common language may be English, even if somebody's not from uh, a place like the United States, then uh, this, could be, this could be an idea. Be cur very curious if any of you have done this as well. Let me know in the chats if this is something that, that you've actually, uh, that you've tried. The next suggestion is, um, well, you could find a speaking partner. And really when you're, you're finding a speaking partner, this, it can be a little challenging. There are again, different sites out there that you can try to connect with other people who want to learn English. So in this case, when you're looking for a speaking partner, I would say that this, this way, you're probably looking for somebody who is also like, okay, I just wanna practice speaking English. So you can do this online or even in your town. I think if you are somebody who wants to improve your English, there is probably somebody close by around where you live who also wants to practice speaking English. And if you can connect with that person, you guys can do that um, and, and work together. So the one thing that I would say that is challenging about this is that when you find a speaking partner, there needs to be a little bit of a direction for the conversation. There needs to be some kind of topic, something that you're going to discuss and engage in. Um, so it, it, one person would really need to be responsible for trying to find that and facilitate that. Um, but this is another way that you can try to practice your speaking. Uh, let's see, the next one, the next suggestion that I have for you, which is a little uh, unorthodox, but something else you could do, and it doesn't have to be this direct, you could start a YouTube channel. And I would say, again, go back to thinking about your interest. It does not have to be a YouTube channel about learning English. You could be talking about something else, something that you're passionate about. The reason why I'm saying start a YouTube channel is because then you are sitting down, you're filming yourself, you're, you're trying to teach people something about something you're interested in, you're trying to talk about something that you're interested in, and you're still getting speaking practice even though you're talking to a camera. I'm, I'm talking to you right now, even though technically I'm looking at a camera that's sitting on top of my computer. But you, you get the idea, you have that, um, that talk. And while you're doing this, if you're talking about something you're interested in, you're once again, you're using the vocabulary that you know that's related to that topic. You may be even thinking about words that, oh, like how oh, I wanna be able to explain it this way, but I don't know how to do that. And then once the, the video is done, once you turn off the camera, you can go find out, well, like how would I explain this? Or what words do I need to use to convey this message? 
So even if you sit down and film yourself talking about something, you don't have to post it if you don't want other people to see that. It's just getting, uh, you know, being disciplined enough to sit down, try to talk uh, about something and actually to record yourself in, in front of a camera. And I, I think it's similar to like if you're giving a presentation at work or somewhere else, when you do that, you're basically giving a talk and you practice it again and again and again um, in order for it to be, uh, you know, for it to be successful. So think about starting a YouTube channel. You don't have to do it as your job or try to become famous, but it is one way that you could practice speaking English regularly once a week, sharing something that you feel like you might be a bit of an expert in, and you're doing that in English. Um, then we have this one, all right? Check out our speaking activity video lesson. So we had at Interactive English, this was mostly my wife and I, we haven't done any lately and I want to do more. Before we did some interactive videos in which we were basically asking you to speak and, and talk to us. And I put them together in um, a playlist that I can share with you. And I want to see, where is it? Um, and I will put that in the chat. So these are all videos that are, well, you're watching a video, but in the video, I'm I'm going to, we're going to ask you to participate, to actually speak out loud. It's another way to get a little bit of practice. Let me throw that in the chat. Um, speaking activity videos, boom, right there. Um, check out that playlist. I'll, I'll put it down in the, the description as well. But that is another way that you can get a little bit of speaking practice and in the future, um, we hope to, we, we plan to do some more because I think it's always good. Even if you're watching a video, you can still get prompts from like in this case, from me asking you to do something, to talk about something, even if it's just for uh, a short period of time. So just to review my, my seven creative ways to kind of find ways to practice speaking, get more practice. Here they are, um, all seven of them together. And yes, I uh, want to make one last comment uh, about Speak Up. If you would like to practice speaking with me, this is the last call to join my speaking course. Again, I will link it in the chat. There's a link down below. Um, see some people who are in it enrolled, like uh, Dr. C. Um, Bamini. Uh, I saw Takayo in here, some others. Um, and again, that is a great way for you to connect directly uh, with me. Let me throw it in here one more time. Join, speak up. Uh, this is the last call because classes start next week. All right. And also, if you have any questions, um, feel free, questions, just um, email me, send me an email at info at interactiveenglishvideos.com, all right? So some people, if you have questions, just shoot me an email. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and then I think after this, I'm gonna try to get, I've been on a little bit of a crazy schedule when it comes to these live lessons. I'd done some traveling with family recently. My parents were here visiting, so I took a little bit of time uh, off from the live lessons, but I kind of want to get back into the groove of things and get back on the, the, regular, uh, the regular Saturday schedule. So I appreciate all of you guys joining me. I um, uh, look forward to speaking with you soon, Dr. C. Um, thank you for being here, Lolly, Vicky, Gustav. Good to see you, Gustav. Oh, sorry to hear that the city is locked down. Um, oh, that's not good. Hoping, I was hoping this whole pandemic was going to kind of ease and kind of ease its way out, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Um, thank you, uh, Manuel, Stryker, Nora, Murma. Nora, you said I want to improve my speaking. Well, consider 
consider some of the suggestions that I have in this video. Hope it helps. Uh, again, you kind of need to think outside the box or you can talk to me, join Speak Up. Um, Myrna, uh, let's see, Shadan, Lali Takayo, good to see you, Marcelo. Um, <laughs> saw the previous video, awesome, excellent. Uh, Louisa, Angela, uh, simple guy. Hope you guys enjoy the, the rest of your weekend. And for some of you, I look forward to speaking to you 